We are battling the hard AI here in Gloomhaven, and it has taken us now to the vibrant grotto. Find out the interesting quest we have to overcome here on Legendary Tactics. Yeah, so we're here with the Vibrant Grotto, and yeah. uh, a pretty neat quest uh, is, is going to be coming up for us here. We have to, uh, it's the one of the first quests where you actually don't have to kill all the enemies in the room. Oh, wow, that's, yeah, it's surprising. I guess I, I hadn't noticed before, but yeah, they're all about, maybe not killing all the enemies, but killing at least... Uh, a, a, a certain enemy or something like that, you know, and usually they've they've got other uh, companions that you can ignore. But. Yeah, and, and, so, well, and sometimes they even that's right. You have to kill at least. Yeah, there's someone there's someone there that needs needs some killing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is a completely different uh, different mission. Yes, uh, and uh, I'm gonna leave a little suspense with it, but I, I will say yeah. that uh, we actually had to actually I had to tinker with my decks uh, and actually. Uh, this is the first one where I really had to um, tailor them specifically to this level, really, uh, in order to uh, yeah to to sort of uh, overcome. So so which characters uh, did you take for this? Uh, we've got because uh, I know I know you played a lot of games and you actually had to retire some some characters because yes, you were playing yes. so much. Uh, well, in the in this current scenario, it, I, it's going to be completed with the scoundrel and. The uh, berserker. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So. So uh, this is uh, this is more the the old familiar group. Then. That's right. Yes. But yeah, yeah. you're you were giving away a little uh, little kind of surprise uh, notes coming up then. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> and on some on some few future videos that we have ready to rock and roll with that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Changes but, are uh, afoot, NATO. Changes are afoot. <laughs> I'm 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 curious though, like not having played that far into the campaign. Um, I'm really curious as to what happens if all the players retire before you're done all the missions. <laughs> but, well, that's actually a really good question. Oh, yeah. here and here's the encounter. So it's either let the wolves come or run howling. And I chose to uh, run howling. We still suffer. Oh, no, let the wolves yeah. come and, and three damage there. So we're, we're going to start uh, out behind the eight ball. Yeah, that's unfortunately that's not good. No, no. So, yeah, we're we're entering into the Vibrant Grotto here. Yes. So the Vibrant Grotto is just a cave, basically? Uh, yeah, kind of kinda like kinda a cavey. Uh, there's like a little like marshy kind of areas and swamp life and, yeah, yeah. Stalactites yeah. and stalagmites. And <laughs> yeah. So okay, here's the cool. objective is to loot all five ornate chests. Um, oh, okay. But you have to use a loot action. You just can't end your turn oh, on, on the chest. Okay. So... It yeah. really required that I had enough loot actions in my decks, <laughs> so I had to. Yeah. That was the big reason I had to go and make sure. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Yeah, because that gives you the opportunity to uh, try out some new cards as well, and, and a little bit of new strategy you too. Because scoundrel. you know, like, is it is it? I had thought to myself, and I tried a different a few approaches. Like, is it the idea that you just tear off to each chest, like loot it as quick as you can, and then like you know, don't worry about the enemies, or is it no? You actually have to kind of like you know go in there, whittle some yeah. down and, uh, you know, and, huh. and, and, and do some fighting. So in this first room, there's a chest up to the, uh, yep. the top left there kind of, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, two 19 strength bears and a little pixie there with some yeah, shields. So are... not, not the easiest, yeah, uh, starting, tough. starting, uh, option here. Yeah. So, uh, what are some of the cards that you? I see. It looks like Stiletto uh, Storm, and there's a few. It looks like there's a few. Oh, the Maw of Madness is back. Oh yeah, the that, is, that one has to be there. This is a personal favorite of mine. Yeah, I love the Maw. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're uh, gonna try to do some ranged, some ranged bits. Gonna try to get mm -hmm. over that chest, of course, and uh, you know, yes. get that one uh, looted as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's. Uh, so that's interesting. So that's the goal, basically, is to just loot the chests, as you know, and and do it uh, with a loot action. And it, then as you efficiently win. as you can, yeah. So, but the thing yeah. is, though, uh, you know, as we've, we've kind of come to see in Gloomhaven, there's a lot of rooms, and yes. so uh, you know, it's kind of like a a, a a race against time. A race against time, and to get to all the rooms you need to get to, because uh, yeah. uh, you know your cards are also dwindling uh, with every you know every reset you have to do. Yeah. Now, would it have been better in this uh, case to 
go later in the turn and let the bears come to you? I assume they're <laughs> they're not ranged. I haven't seen their stats, but I assume they're not ranged weapons. Um, yeah, but then uh, I always like to try and get in there first, get the attack, uh, and and try to get um, uh, a lot of damage on them before they, because they'll just lumber up to you and swat you anyway. Well, I, I, yeah, I don't know what their movement is, but I, I was wondering if, if it might be good for if you st- stood back and they, they walk up close, and then you can, even if they took a swipe, uh, but then you go twice in a row, right? Because you can play um, uh, something high initiative and then low initiative back to back and get like two attacks in in a row. I don't know if that's a, a viable. Well, see now one here. one thing here. I was I was thinking ahead with the scoundrel. And yeah. The scoundrel has that when uh, when an enemy is uh, adjacent and uh, and an ally yes. is adjacent, insta, insta oh, kill. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah. And so see that one nineteen bear is all by itself. So now next turn I can just slaughter it. Yes. If I had let nice. them come to me, I probably wouldn't have been in that situation. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was one one thought I had. Yeah. Well, I know you you played probably played this scenario quite a few times. Yeah, to... and plus the maw of madness, like I can hit those all three of them at one shot. Whereas if they came to me again, it it would really be dependent on yeah who I can how they moved and get that maw back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a great card. That that uh, is pretty much defines your Berserker play, I think. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, the Berserker uh, got lucky there with the first bear. Yeah. Oh. And then this guy lumbers around and okay. takes a bite okay. out of you. Got a little, got a little shield in there. Ooh, oh, five yeah. damage. Oh, five see. damage. That's rough. Can't be letting them do too much of that. Yeah. Oh man. I do have a shield on the Berserker, which is kind of nice, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that Maw of Madness, again, you hit three of them and you heal for six. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that's very... But what about the uh, the Scoundrel who's looking a bit... A little, a little, bit little rough. rough. I, I, I will already. get that uh, that one bear out, though, which is kind of nice. Yes. So one bear will be down, and then hopefully I can... Uh, yeah, just because you, you cut it off. Yeah, kill that adjacent bear. Nice. There, that one's gone. So. Yeah, that's that's almost like an overpowered. Uh, and then that that trickster's and, reversal is great too because now I'm I'm actually safe for a round as well. Uh, if yeah, I suffer, that's I can't suffer. Yeah, can't suffer damage. I'll heal that uh, that wound out there. Yeah, so. that's perfect. And then you've got the. Uh, now, what's the fairy do there? Is the fairy fairy uh, got any a lot, stats? A little worth bit of healing, mentioning. Uh, just kind of a, a nuisance. Got the double shields, right? So you gotta yeah, you gotta hit for plus always. three every time, just to even you know make a yeah. scratch. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and the berserker yeah, you can, can heal pretty up pretty well the, though. Yeah, and the berserker, I can get that uh, scoundrel further healed. Yep. So. So not bad. We're I feel like we're in pretty decent stead here. Yeah. So you're only uh, two turns in here, but we'll see. Oh, that it wasn't good. But the first shot is free, so that's okay. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I am stuck there now, though, so I'm I'm grounded. Yeah. But that's okay. There's a big bear beside me. I got to worry about killing. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh. yeah, but I guess if you can finish off the fairy, might be worth. I was actually debating too, like you know, I, I just used um, the one shot kill. Do I do it again with the bear? You know, do I yeah. do I recycle my cards as the scoundrel to get that card back mm. and, and slaughter the bear in one shot? I'm stuck anyway, so yeah. I, I, I it was a thought I had. You know, do I go that route? And, yeah. and there's yes. your oh, but I can't I can't burn that one. That's the one I need. No. <laughs> so exactly yeah. same play here for the scoundrel. Wow, okay, but the bear does go first. Oh, the bear went first though. But I can oh, lower my initiative surprising. so I can drop oh, that down. Oh, nice. Okay. That's good. So, you uh, needed that. Kill the bear. Yeah, perfect. That and was, yeah. That What was that item? Uh, that was, I forget the name of it, but it allows you to go plus 10 or minus 10. Oh, okay. And on oh, your initiative number. Yeah. Oh, so it's not just a, you know, boots of speed or whatever, which automatically lowers your initiative. It gives you the flexibility. To, yeah, you can go up or down on it. So And now I'm bringing uh. in one of, my, one of the allies here. Okay. So just a little, little helping hand here to... To help us along on the quest and uh, distract distract the enemy. 
Yeah, that's great. I noticed when you when I brought him in too early though, uh, the Bears were just the, the, being health four. The Bears would just maul him to death. So oh yeah, so there, gotta... there wasn't a lot of point to that. But they they move very slowly though. That's the only yeah one one is it is it good even to bring it bring it into being you know four spaces from the from the door from the doorway. <laughs> Probably <laughs> like should have had it a, a bit closer, but uh, yeah. yeah. Because that's what I find is it, spotting them too early. It, it's not necessarily that they die too quickly. It's that they take forever to actually join you in the rest of the adventure. Right. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That, that's a really uh, good point. Yeah, because uh, if, you, if you don't need them, then it may be, may be better to spawn them right close to the action. You know, just I, I, I and again, I don't even think that they're necessarily great at attacking, but they take they distract the enemy right and to me it buys it's almost like um having having that that uh ally there um it's almost like using your uh uh your trickster's reversal or something like that to avoid an attack right you get one free attack yes yes the the brilliant part is if you get early initiative uh and your allies with you they'll actually do damage oh yeah so they can actually you know help help whittle down an enemy yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, now you're looting. So there's okay. the first loot by the scoundrel. <laughs> yeah, and that's your uh, that, treasure box. There's the yeah. first treasure, uh, you know, uh, out of five that I need. So we're gotcha. uh, we're we're down to four remaining. So <laughs> yeah, interesting. <laughs> so this one here is interesting because uh, in the next room we're going to move into, um, there's another baddie, of course, waiting for us. And yep. with that strength and agony, I can take three extra damage to travel and four plus uh, as oh, many damage. Yes, so I, yes, I'm going to move a total yes. of seven. So I can get right up close, and you have to go around that uh, obstacle there. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. And I uh, get right next to yeah. the, the, the loot box. So Yeah, that, that's nice. Yeah. And then what do you have to follow up? You have an, an attack. Attack four, four, and I can hit with uh, three more damage if I want to. Nice. I just took. Well, you might as well. I just took one, but. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, but oh. The, the times two was pretty helpful. Wow, if you'd taken three. That would have been almost yeah, almost, almost everything. Two. Yeah. Yeah, he did get but me. The for attack four. is pretty of, powerful. Yeah, and now I'm stuck there. Yeah. But uh, huh. and, and getting a little low on cards, but you know only yep. one only one enemy in the room is not terrible, so we can... yeah that's okay if this is room two. I assume there's one one box per room. Yeah, yeah, what pretty I well. Assume, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you need to get that. You gotta have to get help get the scoundrel in there, and like you said, now the ally is way out of position. Yes. Yeah, and that's again that's what I find is the biggest uh, <clears throat> the biggest like it's all about positioning with them because. The ally is going to be probably a non-factor for the rest of the scenario. Yeah, right? because they'll so. just be too far behind. Yeah. So I can't get go, the... Yeah, are you going to move right up close yeah. or are you going to... Uh, uh, well, actually, yeah, you know, I, I was debating it because the, um, the still little storm there is an attack too. So I don't really get the full benefit when I'm side by side with that. Well, and also it's it's ranged. So you're if you're next to it, it's... Uh, you're at a disadvantage. That's what right? I mean. Yeah, yeah. You just don't yeah. get quite the same uh, effect there. Yeah. Now, this should be able to hopefully... Okay, that probably just did him in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. so we're good Yeah, you got a bit lucky there. I would have probably held the scoundrel back a bit and pinged him from afar. Yeah, now, the scoundrel has a loot 2 uh, card, I believe. And so, yep. by the scoundrel being there, I, I can loot... Loot two and actually, oh, there we go. Yeah, nice. Uh, and actually, I don't have to worry about moving any closer to the box. Yeah, that's yeah. So from that perspective, yeah, that's perfect. That worked out well. I think that's what I had in mind because um, yeah, it just uh, you have to really maximize your your movement and your card card play in this yeah. level. There's very <laughs> little room for <laughs> yeah extra play. I, like like most, uh, I think Gloomhaven scenarios are basically designed to be. See, even there, uh, Nato, like the loot two is a burn card, so I didn't want to use it. So I'm saving oh. it. Oh, yes, so okay, I see that. So it, was, it yep. was just, it was more worth it for me to, because the bottom, uh, the swift bow there, I could move to and loot every box I move through, so. Yeah, nice. So it still so gave me. You, which one, which card do you have to lose here? Uh, so I get to choose here, so I'm going to, I picked uh, Defiance yeah. of Death. Yeah, yeah, you got to, none of the cards are going to 
be easy choices. You know, no, no, there's just a few you don't want to lose, right? Like you don't want to lose yes. the maw. Yeah. Um, yeah, that uh, and strength and agony probably want to hang on to. Yeah, and... yeah. There's a few, a few <clears throat> yeah. kind of key cards. Uh, yeah, because because of the movement for that strength and agony, you can really yeah, you can really zip around. So yeah, so it's it's funny. You know, this game is kind of interesting because um, you know it, it, they're like puzzles, right? Each each oh, yeah. scenario is like puzzles, and so. <clears throat> realistically in order to beat it you typically have to play a scenario a few times you have to get so, familiar with it absolutely yeah but the but the funny thing is just from a storytelling perspective it's kind of ridiculous that you know you every time you pop in the room the bad guy is the same bad guy in the same spot you know like it's uh you know, it's just like you, you have to think of it like you're rewinding time and not... Now, you uh, know what is interesting about that, though, is, and I have noticed this, is... Um, well, there was a... Uh, that's actually... Unstoppable Destruction is neat, too. You you can ignore all the shields if I suffer two damage. Oh, that's good. So Was it worth taking out that fairy? Ah, uh, yeah, because the fairy likes to heal and just be really obnoxious and oh, okay. also <laughs> attack you. So, yeah, it was... Yeah. It was worth the two damage. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, you were saying. Oh, yeah. That. So, uh, what I have noticed about what you were just saying there, with you know the scenario being identical, is it it yes as far as where the characters are placed, but no as far as initiative goes. No. Oh. So they do have a, there is a fair like the there is variance in you know uh, the initiative. Well, that's their card deck, right? Their card so, deck, yeah. So you are yeah. you are getting a different. So it does feel different. It does. Every time. It does yeah. to the point where you, ha- you you know you have to be mindful of that. You know, you're not going to always get you know a high initiative draw right always from the from the enemy and you know that you get you know the first option yeah. or yeah, or vice so it, versa right they're not always going to be low initiative so yeah but i think you've got such an advantage in knowing for example what's behind what's beyond the next door that <clears throat> i guess from a purist uh, standpoint it's uh do you think you that know, detracts from the game no I, I i don't think so i think it's it's meant to be a puzzle but it it'd be interesting if it was meant to be played and maybe this is just I, it'd be more interesting maybe if it was meant to be played like uh, um, if you won, then one section of the map opens up. And if you lose, then this other section opens up and you don't replay the same scenario. Yeah. You just kind of play the whole thing through and it, and, and, and then like, hey, Sarah, Sarah kind of thing. Yeah. Like, so if you lose all your missions you can still work your way through the story. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. It's, I, you know uh, that's a good point. Um, I think part of the thing, uh, especially with this particular challenge that we're doing, is that we're, we're playing this on hard level. Yes. Um, and just to give you a comparison, I, I did recently try a couple Gloomhaven levels on the easiest level, and yeah. the difference is night and day. Oh really? Oh, wow. night and day, night and day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. So I mean, like, what we're to the point where the easy one feels like a waste of time. Uh yeah, almost. If I if I hadn't been compelled to play it, I would have uh, probably not. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bothered, wow. but uh, um, You're yeah, just it was like it was that it was crushing everyone. <laughs> it was that much easier. So it really wasn't. Wow. Um, you know, in that case, a lot of levels. At least I think where I'm at, I, a lot of levels that I when I'm playing them, I would be able to probably tackle in one go successfully, or or a oh, lot yeah, a lot yeah. more of them, right? So yes, yeah, I'm sure I've yeah, still come ones uh, across ones that you know just out of the sheer surprise value or factor, you know, you're going to be like, whoa, didn't you know, didn't see that twist coming, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but I guess it's just because you know exactly what's on the other end of the this door right now right that's like, right you know exactly what's coming you know where to move and i don't know it's just it's just one of those things like if you view it as a puzzle then it's no problem because you're just trying to f- figure out the best uh way to play it but even with the variance in initiative and whatever um you're trying to sort out the cards make sure you got all the right cards and all that and, um, and I, but... I do have to say too uh as far as that goes that um the puzzle is sometimes so difficult that uh, you know it's a head scratcher. You're like, okay, yeah, okay, like you know, how am I going to tackle this? Like, it seems so overwhelmingly impossible the first time you play it. With some levels, yeah, I, yeah. I've come across already. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, I, I'm I'm in the middle of it even now, and it's like, okay, I've got you know five or six or seven different levels that I, I have options to. I've tried yeah. all of them, and they're all 
<laughs> like almost it feel impossible, right? Like it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So you know how how are you going to tackle that? So I guess that's part of that maybe the 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 challenge. Yeah, no, for sure, and and that's uh, you know that's a, a good sign. It means you know that there's uh, again as a puzzle, it's uh, really a good one. And speaking of you, what's you behind door number three. It. Yeah, that was an interesting choice. Uh, yeah, and I debated, uh, I debated using, you know, uh, finishing off the the shaman there, and and. Uh, yeah, you kind of left the berserker to his own devices there. Yeah, that guy. But I wanted to get that uh, that box and. Um, yeah. Uh, try to get in there as quickly as possible. Is it because? Uh, the, well, I know the bear's a little more nimble. Were you trying to rush to to the end? Like to yeah, open so all we're the we're getting down to how many boxes are left. So yeah. I mean, this will be the third box now, so we're 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 uh, better than half. Yeah. After I get now, this can one. you? Oh, that didn't do very much damage. No, at all. it wasn't great. It was no. only an attack two, so it wasn't. Oh, yeah. thank goodness. Okay, I'll take that yeah. uh, zero there. Yeah. Oh, but, oh, but a but double attack. No, attack. That's not great Ooh, either. Right? Four. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, can are you looking to outrun the uh, the other? The shaman. Like, where yeah. is there a door in this? Another? Oh, the door. Yeah, the back door is way. uh, yeah, like to the right of that uh, that uh, mm. shaman fellow there. Yeah, so. that's uh, that's not helpful. So I'm gonna try to get in on the bear. I wanted to save that uh, uh, the the kill card for the bear. I think was my thought. Yes. So, but isn't the uh, the you know ogre or whatever more powerful uh, guys? Is he, yeah, more powerful? I don't think he's as strong as the bear does bigger damage. So, oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I'm more worried about health in this situation. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, the other one. I'm is, amazed the visage of the in inevitable isn't a burn card. That's a pretty powerful. Yeah, the effect. Inox, the Inox Shaman Elite likes to do a bit like attack yes. three, right? So that's not, yeah, not a strong character, but can heal up all the time. So, yeah. Ooh, now you know a little a little annoying there. still even though what attack three but uh, mm -hmm. I can uh, I can loot here. Yeah, we'll heal up first. Yeah, get rid of that get that. Uh, that wound. Yeah, so the Inox, uh, the, but the Inox warrior seems very slow. Yeah, a little lumbering, but can it has ranged. Yeah, the ranged attacks kind of give it. And currently standing right in the middle of the doorway, which is a bit obnoxious. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's going to make you fight him. Yeah. And this is where the maw is actually a little bit less desirable. No, no, I'm not going to. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would use maw here. Um, I was debating from the brink, though, because that's kind of a sweet card. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a, it's a, the massive heal card. So X is the, it, you get to heal yes. X where it's the difference between your max hit point and your current hits. Oh, wow. So I, I, nine's a bit high though. I, I like to, I like to use that around like two, three. Yeah. And then you, and get then you the just most. like, you know, heal all the way up from there. So, yeah. So, what, and what I was debating, uh, I'm going to long rest with the scoundrel because I can't afford to uh, lose the wrong card. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And yeah. if I take a hit by the shaman, then it won't be a big deal because I can just. Uh... Yeah, you got some. some. Uh... But you know what? In the end, let's just go with the short rest. <laughs> let's go kill. Oh, I, wow. I, was, I was debating it because now I can just go and try and kill the shaman. So. And you got rid of the throwing knives. That's that's one of my favorite uh, scoundrel cards, even though it's not that strong. It's, it's still. Nice to have. Yeah, the, the swift bow is a bit better in this case because it's um, yeah, stronger attack value. So, yeah. Oh no, you kept throwing knives. Sorry, which one yeah, did you discard sure for a different actually, one? Actually, I didn't see which one got discarded there. Yeah, well, I guess it didn't matter. No. Yeah, but I. I oh, like and there comes knives. the uh, the trusted yeah, ally <laughs> lumbering on over here. <laughs> yeah. See, in in another game, I would say dump him right here. This is where he could. At least, even if he dies, right? It's maybe he can get in a, a distraction in a, to the a, a distraction or an attack or something. Right, right. So, yeah. So, so now what's, the, what's, uh, uh, yeah, gonna do the yeah, I'm getting healing? I'm getting rid of that wound. Okay. Um, and then I've got to worry about getting in there, and uh, oh, I can get past the. Okay, I could, I can get past the shaman. That's yeah, he's not nice. blocking the door. But then you have push, which might not uh, help you. No, it's yeah, it does no good uh, currently for. I, I actually don't want to push him right now. 
Yeah, you want to skip the push yeah, there. Yeah, yeah because I, I want to hit my four attack. Yeah. Make it five attack, actually. Even better. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, Not bad. So... Yeah, so, you're, overall, you're doing well. I, I'm a bit worried about the time because you're only... Well, you just got your third box, right? Yeah, so. I only have two more to go now. The next uh, the next room coming up is quite a doozy, though. I'm going to gonna warn you. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be... Uh, I'm, well, I'm that's actually the sitting, thing. It's building up to something, right? Yeah, it's got... The, the next one is a real gem. Yeah. Um, and I guess depending on how you tackle it, uh, it's... This is, would be... It would be the fourth room in this route. Uh, the other way, it would be the third room. Because you, you actually, I had two doors in the very first room to, to option to. Yeah. So you, you can kind of choose which way you want to go. Yes. And uh, this was the route I felt that was the, the most advantageous. But uh, huh. uh, yeah, you'll uh, you'll see why shortly. But in the meantime, this uh, this obnoxious yeah. shaman has got to go down here. Yes. <laughs> so. Yeah, but there's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of health still. What's that? Is it... Uh, at uh, 13 18. Or 18 18 health Jeez. yeah so there's a fair bit there uh, I'm gonna get I'll do some damage here a little bit anyway well maybe yeah. not maybe not <laughs> actually I yeah, gotta love those zero zero oh, multipliers so frustrating yeah it, I understand they want to add some variance to the to the game that way but oh yeah it's just such a pain the good news is um I do have that, uh, you know, the insta kill card here. So if, yes. if I want to use it or not is the big question, yep. though, because uh, you know he's down to fourteen, thirteen. Yeah, I might be able to like you know, bank it. Yeah, well, to me, it's almost like in the interests of time, you know. Yeah. And in some ways, uh, what what I think that card really gives you is, yeah, it's nice to have an instant kill, but it also saves you. A whole bunch of time that you'd otherwise have to uh, spend, you know, yeah. hacking away here. Yeah, yeah. No, you got a good point there. Uh, now I don't have it yet, so I'm just going to use these two cards uh, yeah. because I don't have uh, scoundrel starting to run a bit thin on cards. So. Yeah, yeah, running a bit out of time there. So uh, we can we can but, move a couple yeah, it's spaces. Pretty obvious, pretty obvious move there. My debate was, do I? Do I move two to the the money or just go to uh, you know an attack? I, I think attacking makes a little more sense, but yeah, like uh, that's the the thing in general. I find that uh, looting and uh, it's more of an incidental than it is a real, uh, you know, a real a real part of the game. I find because you don't you almost never have you almost never have time to to loot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Sure, if you can make it work where you land on the space and you're able to do a ranged attack or whatever, great. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. It's not something that's. Uh... But in this particular in this Ooh, particular nice scenario, scenario, looting is mandatory. So <laughs> I know, but yes, of those of those chests. So here's yeah. here's the from the brink at its nice. at, at its finest. I was down to three, yeah. and then all of a sudden, right back to twenty six. So that's perfect. Yeah, that's almost like overpowered in a way too. It's a little feels. op. Yeah. Um, yeah. But at, but at this level you need all the of, help you of, can get. Yeah. of what you got to do, I think it's uh, it's justified. <laughs> so, oh, you know, yeah, I, I so. will miss the Berserker when the Berserker hangs hangs him up. You know, that, when, when yeah. the Berserker retires, I'll be sad. both these characters. I've I've come to really you know appreciate and enjoy. So it's a, yes, yeah, no, and you've you've always uh, the Berserker. I know you were trying to do. Um, well, it was kind of a tanky style. <clears throat> I don't know if Craig was it craggy. Uh, Craig Hart. Craig Hart really caught your interest in the same way. Uh, yeah, as... no. Oh, oh, sorry. No, you're. Um, oh my gosh, the very first character I had. The brute. The brute. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Not. Not as much actually. No. No. The berserker definitely yeah. grew on me. Like you know. And, yes. And that's that's the beauty. I think there. That's where this game really shines. Is is that. Yeah whole idea of the character is kind of uh, you know taking on personality yeah but it's actually interesting i was reading a little bit about uh, gloomhaven today and someone the the author there made the point that um something that the analog version gets across better than the digital version uh in their mind was uh <clears throat> the fact that really it's gloomhaven that's the main character like the characters like the 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 scoundrel, the berserker, they come and go. 
you know, you get a new character, then they retire, you know, but the, 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 the main character of the game is actually Gloomhaven itself. The whole, like the city proper or the whole, the, the whole, city. the whole, uh, you know, uh, world. Yeah. Yeah. That like, that is the real character. That. And, uh, <laughs> the, the gripe that this author had with the digital version was that you, if he, he, he felt that you lost that, uh, a little bit with the, uh, with the digital version, it doesn't feel like Gloomhaven is as central as it is on the board game. Interesting. Now, yeah, it was just it was a really interesting perspective on, uh, you know, on on the game and and so forth. So, right, right, right. Um, uh, and, and we enter into this fourth room here. And yes, you, and you can see there's so the chest is behind those two earth demons. Yeah. Uh, there's also two traps behind them as well. Oh my gosh! So so you can use the push maybe. Yes, that would be that. That's a great. That's a great option. Uh, if if I can get close enough and kill them off, you can do do the a loot too. So you don't have to worry yep. about the traps. You have to, you could yep. possibly spring the trap. So a uh, part of it here is navigating how on earth I am going to actually uh, you know solve this. Yeah, but the problem. scoundrels are really low on cards right now. That's the other thing. Scoundrels down to to five cards. So, and there's two chests left. Yeah, there's two chests left. Jeez, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, Where's so, the other doorway? I can't. Uh, the the other thought. doorway you can't see currently. It's directly if uh, if you followed a straight line down from the scoundrel. Oh, okay. there, you just sort of see the blue ring yes, there, the right beside. Yes, yeah, yes, that's yes. that's the the last wow. door. So I, I still have, have two rooms to sort of uh, get through, and and uh, wow. Yeah. Not a lot of cards. I think I counted five or six. So. Now, uh, I mean, even... Yeah, five. Even Berserker's not doing great, but... Uh, yeah. Jeez. And th these guys are not wimps either. No, they're, they're not 20 health. 20 health. They're not lightweights. And and they're together yeah. right now, so I can't even uh, use my uh, my visage. Yeah. yeah. And I got to get the Berserker over there somehow to even use the biz visage. Yeah. So, I mean, there is a lot of... There's a lot of juggling <laughs> to be done here. <laughs> so. Yes. This is a tough scenario. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This yeah. was this was not an easy easy tackle here. Yeah. Now this wasn't the hardest one though. Like you had one where you had to replay it. Oh, many a times. Crazy amount. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, uh, this oh. one did take some. Uh, it did take a few goes though, for sure. Yes. And especially like I said uh, earlier, it was I had to really tailor the deck. Yes. To make sure that. Um, all those, <laughs> There's that those loot cards. See, this were is where the warrior could come in a bit handy, at least. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is where I would have. Oh, times two. That's actually a. Oh, that was a, good. A good, if, a good hit. If I can kill off that one. Yeah. That really uh, changes the. That changes the dynamic the here. I can, uh, I but can... you still have to get to the ch the 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 chest. Oh yeah, I'm not even near it yet. Yeah, and and I, I'm running out of time pretty quick. So. Yeah. Oh, and now he's stuck there. Perfect. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah. wow! Berserker's not going anywhere. Yeah. Luckily, I'm I'm beside two baddies, so I can do a fair bit of uh, attacking. Yeah, and you have to do a long rest while standing next to. Uh, yeah. Well, I could have done a short one, but I didn't want to. I wanted to be. I wanted to get yeah, the health. Yeah, you got to make sure you choose. keep your card. <clears throat> and yep. if I can get rid of this uh, one Earth demon here, and that'll really help. Uh... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but that's. Oh, so minus two. Seven. That's disappointing. Yeah. And the only. Yeah, uh, you did take one. him down, but. <clears throat> now, if I can. Uh, yeah, it's good. I don't think I'll be able to. No, oh, it won't be enough. To minus reveal. one again. I know. I'm getting terrible oh, we'll rolls. Just hack here. and slash. <clears throat> it's funny. Cause oh, you, minus you one again. Video, like, oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> but it's so funny. You entered the video is like, oh, yeah, this one. You don't have to kill all the enemies, but. Oh my gosh! Well, you don't have to, but uh, I mean, it's not yeah, it's not a requisite for the true, for the victory. This and I actually this did one try feels more like hack and slash. I actually did try uh, in one of the attempts where I just try to do a mad dash, but they just gang up on you. Yeah, there's just too many of yeah. them. <laughs> you just can't. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, you can't. Oh my gosh! Another long rest. Yeah, so we'll be down to four cards, and and also I was you know here. So do I get rid of a lore yeah. card or? I did one. I can't lose uh, the. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, the movement card is so critical, though. There, that's a loot card I don't want to get rid of. So yeah. I, had to, I had to be mindful of all these cards I got to keep. Yeah, but you ended up getting rid of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. And that was uh, yeah. it was a real, real dilemma. Now, I do Jeez. have a loot card with the uh, the Berserker. So Okay. So you... I have the Maw back, too. Yes. So I can do some healing. Yeah, this is a bit crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> There's not a lot of leeway here. I mean, most Gloomhaven missions I find are like this, but... Yeah, this is really Yeah, so my dilemma was here, do tricky. I do I try so the Berserker's gonna go first. Do I yep. do I use um you know a movement and then I go in and uh you know use visage and kill the other one off, or do I just go grab it and not worry about that second monster? Yeah, so. that's it was. It's a bit of a gamble here because I had. I was. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I needed the berserker to finish off this. Uh, and there, there, it's done. Okay, oh, so that was good. Oh wow! Yeah, I got got lucky there. So I could heal for three. Yeah. Actually, I heal for four in total, and then I also get uh, a heal three here. Nice. So I could heal up. I think you have to run and get the. Uh, the chest. Get the the chest. Yeah, I do. But... I do have to do that too. Yeah. But you discarded your loot too. Uh, as one of the cards, yeah. I, I do yeah, have. Yes, so you're I, just going to have to run through the trap, I guess. You got no choice. Right. And there's the loot too from the Furious Aid. Yeah. Oh, there's <laughs> the, the ally trucking along. Spirit. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just not useful. Yeah, no. And I'm not even um, close enough to use that move no. two right now, so that. But so I can I can to... move three. But but don't you want the berserker to to grab it? I well ideally, but I'm getting so low on cards. Yeah. Oh, wow. So the other option yeah. is actually just try to kill off this baddie. So. Yep. Perfect. Oh, and times valid, two. Uh... That was excellent. Oh my gosh! Yes, you got lucky there. That's nice. It's too bad the berserker's already been and gone so i can recover two discarded cards with that ability which is pretty awesome oh, okay so i can pull <clears> i can pull these handy. two cards right back so that gives me a little more breathing room yeah yeah i do have to get That's in there though that definitely helps oh yeah and there's the last he had a he had a, a wound on him so one damage oh, is gone. beautiful <clears throat> beautiful so now yeah. we're, we're sitting okay i still have to get this one and a second room though so and that oh it's a burn card too furious gotta use it though at this point yep you don't have a choice no uh and then we because we got to get moving to the next room yeah yeah you really don't yeah you just have no time to waste it's crazy so i was debating do i do a short rest get a better movement card yep. back Oh my gosh! There's no time left. No, three cards, and you got one more room to go. But see, with this turn, I can move. Uh, if I use the sixteen and yep. the eighty-eight, I can move a total of five spaces. Yeah, but after that, you're down to one more turn. That's right. And I saved. I saved the inevitable Jeez. in case I have to kill something off in the next room. Yeah, but it's gonna take a. <laughs> There's the ally again. <laughs> the ally just. <laughs> yeah, making Such making slow waste. tracks here. Such oh, so yeah, I went in there oh. to actually, so I got trapped. Just take the trap. Yeah, I got. Stu- oh, you got poisoned and everything. And because I'm stunned, I can't use yeah. my loot. Oh no way! So I have to. Uh, and now the berserker has got to keep moving. There's just no time. Wow. Now here's the great news, though. If you look at the berserker's upper card, Furious Eight, it's a loot too. So if I can yes. move into the next room close oh, enough, that's, yes. I just I have to get close enough. A possible path to victory here. Yeah, to where the chest is, and I can hopefully loot too. So I picked seven, and the chest is right there. Oh, the chest is right there. Perfect. So I moved in. It kind of didn't really matter, and yeah. I could loot too here. That's perfect. So I pick up the fourth chest, but now the bers- now nice. the, the scoundrel yeah. has to find a way. Oh my gosh! With, uh, with like no cards <laughs> left. At least, at least the designers gave you something nice. The chest right there on the other side of the door. Yeah, there was that was one bonus. Now, if I had come the other way, it would have been at the other end of the room. But that's the way I. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So long rest. I took a long rest because I wanted to heal up all that uh, that stuff and get make sure yeah. I get the card I want. So. 
Yeah, there's no no. Uh, there's there's no real rush. There's only one one enemy in here. So yeah, yeah, and, and really you're just killing it because there's nothing else better to do at this point. Yeah. Now, for whatever reason, I thought I'm going to start moving back just in case. Uh, you know, yeah. I have to go in there and try and loot. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that get being your, said, uh, I get he, the that little uh, that shot forest in imp is to get some free shots at me. Yeah. But, so heal uh, up here. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Oh, and I had the stun on me. So that's why I want because it, it lasts oh. for one turn. So that's the other reason yes. I took a long rest so that the stun would go away. Oh. So now is... I can loot with reckless yeah. abandon. <laughs> oh, and man. literally no turns to spare. <laughs> yep. Nothing left. So wow. there's the. There's, a There's the puzzle solved. Yeah. Jeez. Yes. That came down to the wire. I could see that definitely taking time. Oh yeah. To, to like to figure oh, out. Oh look at that. <laughs> yeah. Just goes and they do get one last shot. Yeah. 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 So and wow. I actually had to just just play my cards out too, but uh, yeah. There. But I could see that. I could see that being an issue. You know, uh, if you don't do well in some of those battles. Uh, yeah, you could lose it. Oh yeah, like, I can't yeah. see. I can't see you doing that much better at at this. Oh no, mission, no, no! So. This was a pretty a pretty smooth game. I, I know there were there were probably a few little spots, but I mean, yeah. check out all those records. Eh? That's that's not bad at yeah. all. Yeah, lots of records to be had all around there. So yes, thirty four items great. used for the uh, for the scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. <laughs> yep. Used a couple. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no, well, well done though. That was very well earned, and uh, yeah, um, hopefully the viewers watching picked up some some tips and got some ideas. And uh, while you're uh, while you're at it, uh, take a, a moment to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Yes, thanks for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics. You ring the bell and wait a good minute before entering the slanted doorway. There's no sign of Hale, so you call out and wait for her. It takes much longer than you'd like. When she finally does appear on the other side of the ruined bar counter, she seems genuinely surprised to see you. Oh, is that bite root you have there? Huh, imagine that. I was just thinking about going to get some, seeing as I just ran out last week. You stare at one another in confusion. Oh, I sent you to get that, didn't I? Hale scratches her head. Right, scrying. I remember now. Hand over the root. You give her the packs full of bite root. What were the details again? Jexera. Valrath woman, yay high. Merchant dabbling in necromancy. Wears a red cape and lots of gold jewelry. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Hale disappears with the root, and you begin to hear a faint banging coming from the floor above you. Eventually, Hale appears before you, holding a parchment covered in a thick, gooey, bite root paste. There you go. Just follow that, and you should find your way to where she's hiding. You hesitantly take the map. I could have cleaned off the paste, but uh, I thought it added a bit of charm. 